Why is it that when we walk up to a woman, we feel so many different things? It seems so difficult, so, so difficult. I wanna tell you, it's not difficult. I really wanna reiterate this. It is not difficult to go meet women. That's not the difficulty. The difficulty is being able to be the witness of reaction. It's all been wrong since the beginning. My parents, your parents, generation after generation, never really knew what makes women so difficult to meet. Why is it that we can see a woman and feel so many different things. If there's something that every guy would struggle with, not some, all, is being the witness of reaction. Her reaction and your reaction to her reaction. Being the witness of her reaction is what guys are the most immature at when it comes to meeting women. You see a woman walking down the street, or you see a woman in a bar, or whatever location that you are. Usually the first thing that happens is reaction inside of yourself. And from that reaction, something else is built. I'm not worthy. She's too beautiful. She wouldn't like a guy like me. And continuing on. All these show up. All these reactions show up. And then the mind starts to go in so many different directions. making it so hard just for you to walk up to the woman. Some guys move past that and they go, I'm not gonna let this reaction stop me from doing what I wanna do. They walk up to the woman and when they walk up to the woman, the woman reacts. And as she reacts, he reacts. She feels like this is foreign. This is different. And the guy starts to go, am I doing something wrong? It's so crazy that as he walks up, the ambiguity of what's really going on and how she reacts to it will send him into reacting even stronger to the point of either walking away, staying there and nervously trying to bring her back to normality or some other thing that happens to him. All because of the ambiguity that she felt about what's happening. 
and then he starts to feel like I'm doing something wrong, am I doing something right? Not knowing simply the way that she felt about it is the way that she reacted. But we put so much into it when we're there in that first moment that we cannot remain the witness. We get drugged into it because women and the way they react say so much about who you are. This is what we built through time, not even just now. I don't want you to think that now is the time that this has been built. No, through time when women would react, either the man shut her down completely when there was total control over women, or now in the sense of we get scared from it. Because now we have no longer control over it, now we react to it out of fear and we start to become doubtful of ourselves. We start to feel like we're not worthy simply based on a reaction. Not based on the truth, based on a reaction. And then we may stay there and the girl feels okay about us being there because we've been able to give her the chance to know that this situation is okay. And as we're continuing on talking to her, maybe she reacts to the silence. And then we feel like, are we doing something wrong? We've done something wrong. Some guys even feel that. She goes, uh, okay, anything else? And we start to feel being in silence makes people feel awkward. We start to feel that being in silence will make the girl feel awkward. We will lose her attention. She will lose attraction. All based on how we are reacting to her reaction. It's amazing when I talk to a guy and I'm helping him understand how he can relax in the midst of everything he's going through. He's in front of a woman and sometimes I'm even standing behind her telling him to breathe. But even before he even goes up, we do meditation and I show him what is it like to stand in the midst of reactions that's happening inside of you. And it's amazing how reaction has so much power over him. Like me, I was in the same place. I know what it's like to have reaction have strong influence over you. It has a much stronger influence in the beginning than what it is you want most of the times. But as you start to go on and you just become the witness of it, also what I had to do and also what I teach anybody who comes to me, being the witness of the reactions that's happening, you start to do what you want to do. You start to be more influential. You start to be more impactful to who you're in front of. When you're in front of the woman, you're no longer giving in to all your reactions to the way that she's reacting. You're just being the witness of it. And this is the difference. The biggest difference between is it going to be difficult and is it not going to be difficult is your ability to remain the witness to reaction. You have to remember that when she's reacting, she's reacting to a part of herself that you would react to. There's no difference to it. And not, it's not her being feminine, it's her reacting to 
a belief she has about what's happening. I know that I'm going to do a video about this. I almost did a video about it today. But a video about a woman's femininity and her sexuality being confused with her belief system. Because it's very different how women react to when their feminine is happening than to when the belief is controlling her. That's something else we're going to talk about. But I'm going to give you a small insight into something right now. Her belief is not her reaction. This is something that could segue into that video as well. When she's reacting, her belief is present there. Her belief is there with her. And she's reacting to it. When you are reacting... Your belief is also present there. Maybe your belief is, I shouldn't be doing this, that this is creepy, that when a woman reacts harshly or bad in some way, that means that I'm doing something wrong. Maybe that that's a belief of yours. Because the fundamental belief is women know best or something like this. So when she reacts, you go into reaction and then you feel like I'm doing something wrong and then immediately it fizzles away. Not knowing that her reaction is simply a reaction. Her reaction isn't her. We as men become so confused because we start to see the reaction as the woman. And that's just a symptom of us seeing our reaction as ourselves. As we are sitting in meditation. Maybe you start to think about something, you engage in it, and maybe you start to argue, and then you come back to the moment after some time. Maybe you go into something that happened and you feel like you're just in your head and you're constantly going over a situation. And you want to be right and you want to prove the person wrong, and then you go, I'm not right. You have to understand that this battling that you're doing on the inside, this reacting that you're doing to the thoughts that are coming up, to the sensations that are rising, to the emotions that are coming up, that's exactly how you're going to interact with women. You're going to interact the same way that you're sitting in meditation and how reaction takes you away. Also, when you're in front of women, you're going to react the same way. There's no difference. The man that's less pulled away by reaction to what happens from the woman is going to be more able to go through the situation with her. More able to meet her. Because to let you know, because her beliefs are running her so strongly, you're gonna to have to give her a chance. That's the most women you meet. Her reactions will be so strong sometimes because the great thing about women is that they're more bodily expressed in the way that they do things. The way things go through them, the way that they react to a situation is more grandiose in the way that it has a sharpness to it of, of showing. It's just more clear than a man. A man is easier able to not show things because of so much time of not showing. But a woman, because she's shown so much of her feelings and reactions to things in life, she's more willing to show it sharply and more intensely, making women more emotionally intelligent than men through life. So as she starts to do that, a man and him not being able to show that, not used to showing it, and it's used to reacting to things on the inside and not used to being the witness, he's going to get pulled into it. He's not going to simply be the witness and be able to see it for what it is. He's going to get pulled into it so strongly that he'll believe it. He'll believe that the woman is her reaction. All the way through to the bedroom, her laying there underneath him and going, uh, this is too fast for me. And her reacting to her belief on the inside. Him feeling like, oh, okay. I guess that uh, 
she doesn't want this to happen. And maybe he's heard something about, just give her some time, let her relax. Not knowing that she's reacting to a belief, he'll react to it. Or maybe when he goes for the kiss and she turns, not knowing that her turning most of the time is because of, I don't want to be easy most of the time, that's what it is, he's going to react to it and feel like I've done something wrong. And some guys become smart to the patterns of what happened with women and they go, she's turning away because she's meaning not right now. They become that smart about what's happening. They become smart about seduction. They become smart about it. And then they go, you know what, I'll try again later because Previous history has taught me that if I try later, more than likely it'll happen or it has a higher chance of happening. Not knowing she's just reacting to her belief. Being the witness will never stop being the way that meeting a woman becomes easy. Because you see, when she's going through something, I don't care where it is from meat to being together, I don't care where it is. You see that she is going to feel things, show it sharply. I'm gonna feel things about it. How am I reacting to it? That's gonna be the thing. Is when you simply be the witness of your own reactions, and you stop letting your reactions pull you into certain directions because of her reaction or because of something she does, you're gonna to start to be able to be the witness of her reactions and see it for what it is. That a woman is not meaning to push you away and call you this and make it hard on you. She's not meaning to do that, but she is no different than a man as far as a being. She's no different. She may be more identified with the feminine energy. Yes. She may be love as far as the way that she is. Yes, more than the man as far as her dominance. But I need to tell you, she's no different. She has a mind as well. Her mind is corrupt, just like your mind is corrupt, until you start to become the witness of it. The beautiful thing about a woman, though, is she has more of a chance to be away from the mind because her heart is the dominant. So that's the beauty of it. But to let you know, society is so strong that everybody has become corrupt in the mind. Everybody has believed their mind and trust their mind more than they trust anything else. So I tell you, let her react. Let her react. If she's going to react, do not want her not to react. Want her to react the same way that she's going to react to anybody. <laughs> want her to react. Don't try to change it. When you let her simply react the way she's going to, and you not try to change it, you just remain the witness of it, then you're able to go, ah, this is happening. I'm going to choose to go here. This is happening. I'm going to choose to go here. This is happening. I'm going to choose to be silent. Or that's the most natural response that happens. But you cannot know the natural response when you are simply reacting to her reaction all the time. You must remain the witness. A woman's reaction to me means shit. It means nothing. In the same way that my reactions on the inside mean shit, so does a woman's reactions to me mean the same thing, no different. Of course, if she's 
not wanting me to speak to her and things like this, of course. My natural response would be, I can see that she doesn't want me to talk to her, or, okay, I'll, I'll walk away now, or whatever it may be. But reaction in itself doesn't mean anything to me anymore. There's still at times where I, at a very, very finite, minute level, feel reaction to things. I do. I must say. But I do understand that in time that won't mean anything and it'll continue on not meaning anything to me because reaction will be reaction and the less that I give it my attention and unless I give it meaning, the less it's going to mean anything to my system. I'm not going to be underneath it much longer. Let women react. Let them react in whatever way that they're going to, and you just remain the witness. This is why one who meditates, one who starts to see themselves, one who starts to see the world for what it is, is also able to see that reaction for what it is. The one who doesn't meditate will always struggle with the reactions within themselves and the reactions of women. They can try to drown it out like I've seen some people do by having stronger beliefs or more conviction. But when a belief is present with you, reaction isn't far away. It is there with you. Let reaction be reaction.